Hey, this is Judah Mantel for Steamforge Studio, and in this video I'm going to go over version 0.7.32. has a couple new features that I mentioned previously for the new dynamic path system that I'm really excited about, so let's jump right in. So I have this object here, it's the same one that I used in a previous video, this light here, and it has this small track associated with it. Now overall, there's been a lot of small bug fixes that just remove some little inconsistencies with the way the system worked, but now it works a lot better. The colors are a little easier to see, so now they're white and green. And you also see that we can now select individual points. So I can select this one and it has information about it. It says selected waypoint number two or number one, and you can click and drag. It does all the same stuff. But now what you can do is when you select a waypoint, you can add a waypoint wait time. So if I add another one over here and I say the wait time on this one is going to be one second, You'll see now it turns yellow to indicate that there's a change in the duration of this waypoint. So now when I play it, it waits there for that specified duration and continues. So you can do some really good things with actor blocking and just further previs for different objects moving along your scene. Uh, you can have some traffic maybe in like a larger city environment with some cars moving and waiting at intersections and things like that. It just adds more flexibility with what you can do with it. And that is the major new feature in this release. It's a small improvement to this, but I find it very useful. A couple other things that have been cleaned up a little bit, mainly the system for adding and removing points before and after. So this now works accurately. Additionally, when adding a point after the last point, it now continues the direction of the path, which may seem a little silly, but it was actually a little frustrating last time. And now it works really well, and I'm really happy with that. So it's very smart about continuing the direction of the previous points if that's necessary. There's been improvements to the save system that just prevents any inconsistencies or, or difficulties there. And that's basically it for this release. It's just a small new feature that you should be aware of when working with paths. And so with that, if you have any questions, you can leave a comment down below, or you can email me directly at judah at and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video.